Hi, I'm Flor Castillo, and this is Tell It Like It Is. Many seniors in our own high school are attending college later this year, and their financial decisions could lead them into taking loans to pay for their education and enter what we call student debt. For the past two decades, the student debt has risen each year. The average student in the class of 2016 has around 37000 in a student loan debt. To discuss the ways a student debt can be prevented, I spoke to NHS guidance counselor Anna Rigali. It's really important for students to be smart when they're choosing where they're going to go to college. Uh, colleges usually have to report what kind of financial aid they give, so being smart about that decision and doing some research about different colleges and how good their financial aid is is a really great first step. After that, it's really important to weigh the amount of loans that each college is giving you. I think a lot of students really want to go to their first choice college and don't consider price sometimes. And it's really important to see how much loan each college is giving you and use that as part of your decision making process. There's other things students can do like apply for scholarship money, um, limit the amount of loans they want to take. You know, just because a college offers you loans doesn't mean you have to take it. Some students don't realize that um, you can take as much or as little loan as you would like. There are indicators that if a student debt continues to increase, it could have a major impact on the economy. Many educational institutions, such as Smith College, can help students prevent this crisis. I spoke to Smith College Student Financial Services Director, David Villinger, to find out the ways in which the college helps out. We try to keep our debt levels to, for our students at a minimum. So, in other words, the most a first-year student can borrow is up to $5,500. That's the most that they can get through the federal government. It's important for students in high school to be looking at outside scholarships. Is there any scholarship assistance provided by the local community organizations that um, students can apply for? There are a lot of states now that are considering free college for first, the first two years, whether it be a community college or a two-year program. I think that would be a wonderful initiative for society to put its weight behind so that everybody would have a chance to get a college degree. And at that level, it's an associate's degree. Somebody would then have better job training or better skills to go out into the workforce, which can then help society as a whole. Student debt has been a $1 trillion problem for at least six years. And as more students continue their education, it's expected to continue rising. Organizations and institutions will continue helping our students to hopefully find a solution to this crisis. This was Tell It Like It Is, I'm Flor Castillo.